How's everyone doing? Um, this is Tim here and uh, this is your lab number three for mechanical systems. Um, big thanks to Scott McCuskey for designing this lovely rig for me. Um, I appreciate it. The plan for tonight is we're going to do four scenarios or four different gear systems. We're going to start off with um, a small connected to the large the 12 driving the 60 then we're going to do the 60 driving the 12 then we're going to do the 12 driving the 60 which is driving a 36 it's going to be the idler and then the last one is a compound gear train and it's going to be 12 driving uh, an 84 and then an 84 on the same shaft driving a 12 driving an 84 and then another 12 driving an 84 if you don't have any of these in your kits well hopefully you have this but i do want everyone to do a compound gear train we're going to we're going to do the four um scenarios okay and uh, we're going to do the numbers that they will mathematics first then we're going to do it in gear generator and then we're going to do it in the real system okay now um let me just check what our input rpm is going to be so the first thing i'm going to do is let's set this to be let's all set this to be six volts all right everyone's at six volts that'd be too easy wouldn't it there we go six volts i'm going to plug my power supply in and i have this kind of connected what's going on there i can i can easily connect and disconnect this quite easily so let, let, let's just have a look and see what sort of input speed we have our what's our input rpm going to be honestly i don't have the double pole double throw switch wired in i don't even care about that right now we're just want to drive it forward all right and notice i can just i can, can oh i can connect this and disconnect it quite easily now what i'm looking for is um my locking bar with the pieces of tape on it i have two pieces of tape on it let's see and i'm going to have to divide the number by two I have my Right, I'm guessing I'm guessing approximately 180 RPM. Now I divide that number by two and I'm going to get 90 RPM. Okay. So my if I get if I take one of these off, let me see what I get 90. Let's just put that over there. The little the little um photo uh the tachometer tape. I'm getting 95 I'm getting 95 rpm that's going to be our input that's going to be our input speed all right and what we're going to do first so 95 is our input speed that's going to be a constant for the, re the remainder of the evening when I say evening it sounds like we're going to be here doing this a while which we could be now I have the 12 now hopefully you all can build this contraption I'll just give you a little bit of a look at it so the 632 screws here look how he has spacers there little black spacers if i unscrew this this thing can slide back and forth this is fixed okay okay no worries hopefully you can build that um all right what, what you're going to do is you're going in order to use this you might not have this issue but um this the the 
sprockets the little sprockets i have don't fit on there so i need to use a little spacer like so all right and then i'll connect this on here and his nice design i can bring that right up i can pull this off and if you want to you can tighten this down The issue is you kind of go through it, I can feel it underneath, but that's going to stop that from moving. And then I put that on there and it's meshing, it's no problem. Okay, I can turn this on and check it. No problem, all right? Don't worry about this vibrating back and forth, it's fine. Now, um, so we have 95. Now, you could cheat very easily and put this locking bar on this shaft now if you have a hard time getting stuff on these shafts you need to take the shaft out or just file it the edges off it the little the burrs on the edges and that will that will make it easier to get stuff in there like that okay so our our driving gear is 12 teeth our driven gear is 70 is 60. let's relax there for a sec so let's put this down okay and let's get some paper out let's have a look at the first the first gear application or scenario so the the motor speed is equal to 95 rpm now the output speed is going to be the input speed multiplied by the gear ratio now we know whenever you have a small gear driving a large gear like so the speed come will will decrease in speed and we will increase in torque fair enough now the output speed is going to be equal to 95 rpm which is the input speed and then the gear ratio is going to be 12 multiplied by 12 over 60 which is a fifth so it's going to be uh, 95 uh, divided by 5 is 19 RPM. We should be getting around 19 RPM. Okay. Now I'll just pause this here for a second because I'm going to open up gear generator to, to check this. So let's load up gear generator. like so look at that lovely and what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove uh clear remove and now i'm left with two gears the first gear has 12 teeth as long as the pitches are the same i don't really care now i can change this can can i change that connection angle i don't think it matters there it's the second one there, let's move that up there that's better something like that now this is 12 and what's the other one the other one is going to be shut up you the, uh, the speed is 95 rpm all right and the second one is going to be how many does it have it has 60 too big um let's zoom out can we zoom out look there you go um it's telling us that it should be 19 rpm okay so whenever we have a small gear driving large gear um we're going to lose we're going to lose um speed but we're going to gain torque okay because power transfers apart from losses but essentially all the power transfers from one shaft to another um okay so that's that 
All right, so what we'll do now is let's get the, the rig going. And um, I have, I'll just plug it in. Now I think this RPMs is going to be too slow for this tachometer to read. We might have to put two of them up there, but two two uh, pieces of tape on it. But let's find out. It's too slow. Okay, let's get a second one on there. Let's try it. Now what it's saying is it's saying 40 RPM. Okay, now what I need to do is divide that by two I'm going to get around 20 rpm okay so what's important the 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 mathematics and the the real world match okay um so whenever we have a small gear going to a large gear we lose speed now um i wish oh no don't do that come on uh, let's get that locking bar all right Let's move this. No, let's let's run this here for a second, and let me get let me see how much torque. Well, if we have if we have if we're only getting a fifth of the if we're if we're, if we're losing four fifths of the speed. This is a speed reduction right here. We should be getting five times the torque. Now, torque is hard to measure, okay? Um, I can slow that down, okay? Now, I don't know how well this is gonna work. I'm gonna put a large gear on here. Don't, don't do this, you're just gonna damage the equipment. Um, but by using a rig like this, I am gonna lose, I am gonna lose four fifths of the speed is it four fifths really though it's 95 rpm it goes down from 95 to 19 four fifths of the speed but i'm going to get five times the torque i will get five oh. What's happening here is just that the way the mechanical rig is set up it's not you're not going to be able to grab this and stop it but trust me you're getting five times the torque on this output shaft okay um the torque will increase so what we want to do now that's that, that's basically the first that's basically the first scenario we've gone from tw 12 teeth to 60. now let's go from 60 to 12. so we'll flip this around Basically, if you have a motor that's running too fast and you want to slow it down, a DC motor, you're going to connect a small gear to it and you're going to connect a large gear to your wheels. It will be a lot more precise. It will be a lot slower, but it's going to have a lot more torque. So what you're going to do now is let's flip it. Now, the speed of that gear is the same as the speed of the motor, which is 95 RPM. If I connect this to here, And get it up nice and close. It's just going. That's okay. It's just going through the little gap. It stops it from moving. What I am going to have to do is get a little spacer because the locking bar is going to interfere with that gear. And it's going to sit something like that. 
Now, let's put this down for a second. And we're going from a large gear to a small gear. And the motor is connected to here. And we know this rotates at 95 RPM. And this has how many teeth? It has 60 teeth. And this has 12 teeth. All right. And we want to know the speed here of the, the small gear. The output speed is equal to the input speed multiplied by the gear ratio. Now the input speed is going to be 95 RPM. Now this is kind of how I do it. Um, they say the gear ratio is between the, dr the, the driving gear to the driven. So this is going to be 60 over 12. We, we want this number. We know that when we go from a large gear to a small gear, what happens? Speed goes up, but torque goes down. So what is 95? This is 5. So this is roughly 500 RPM. If I go calculator and I go 95 multiplied by 5, I should be getting close to 475 RPMs. Now, I let you do, I want you to do this in, in um, gear generator, just to double check it. Get used to gear generator, it's a good program. So we should be getting around 475 RPMs. All right. Honestly, when you're doing, is this thing still recording, is it? Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah, she's going fast. Now I'm getting around I'm getting around 890 RPMs when I've bought them on there. Let's get rid of one of them and let's see what happens. Just mind yourselves, put on some safety glasses. kind of jumping all over the place um, I'm getting it around 500 let's try it again So just kind of skipping all over the place but what i'm doing is i have i'm getting around 450 rpms which is pretty close there is there's a lot of vibration in this and you're going to lose some of that power due to friction and vibration okay um so that is that is number that is scenario number two going from a large to a small and you can see there's definitely a big increase in speed now the next one is we're going to go from a 12 teeth to a 60 teeth to a 36 okay so there's your 12 set up there 
we're going to go to a 60. Lovely. Be a good little a good gear now. And then we put the then this is the 36. This is our idler gear, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tighten this up. This is a gear train. So, let's put this away and let's do the mats. We have a small gear, which is the driven, the driving gear, going to a larger gear, going to a medium sized gear. This one is 12 teeth, this one is 60 teeth, and this one's 36 teeth. This one rotates at 95 RPM. All right, what does this rotate it? Now, we can do, you can do the mats between these two gears and then do the mats between these two gears. What you're gonna find out is you can just ignore the idler gear. Forget about it, but let's do it anyway. So if this is 12 and this is 60, whenever we have a small gear going to a large gear, um, what happens? Torque goes up, but speed goes down. And it goes down by a factor of five. So what, what will we do? We'll go, if this is shaft A, this is shaft B, and this is shaft C, the RPM at B is equal to the RPM at A multiplied by the driven, the, the driving to the driven. So it's 12 over 60. I know um, Connor was asking that question. He goes, well, what the hell is it? Is it is it 60 over 12 or 12 over 60? And I'm, I'm, I'm just confusing you guys. It's always the, um, the driving gear first to the driven. And that's your ratio. And that should help. Now, we know the RPM is 95 multiplied by 1 fifth. So I, we did this already, didn't we? It's 95. What did we end up getting? Uh, we got 19 RPM. So this guy is 19 RPM. Now, if we go from this one to there, we can go RPM. You don't need to do this. You can just go from this one to this one but look there's no I can I can show you the rpm at c is equal to the rpm at b multiplied by the driving so from this one is driving that so it's 60 over 36 and that is equal to 19 multiplied by 60 over 36 so let's have a look at that um All right, we have 60 divided by 36. 1.66 multiplied by 19 is, is roughly, it's 31.6 is the RPM at C. So let's stop this one. Now we'll do, we'll do the last one. We'll do the, the, um, the compound gear train in gear, gear generator. I'm too lazy, um, but you have to do it. Um, so the output should be 31.6. Driving gear, idler gear, driven gear. Where is our, let's put two of them on here, two pieces of tape, we're gonna to have to divide it by two. Like so.
it helps if you kind of know what you should be expecting. I should, I have two pieces of tape on this. I should know I should be getting around 60. Okay, I'm getting 66. Um, if it's it, it, what I find with a tachometer, if you if you shine it directly at it, sometimes it picks up. These gears are pretty shiny, believe it or not. What I'll do then is I'll come at it from a little angle, and that helps. So if I divide my number by two, divide the number by two, I'm getting very, very close to 31.6. Okay. Um, the advantages of using an idler gear is you can space out the shaft. If you want your wheel or whatever the hell you're driving to be well away from your motor, you might have to have an, you'll have to have an array of little gears, idler gears bringing you out. The issue is with each gear um, transition, you're losing about, I said the power translates, it doesn't really, you're losing about maybe 30% of the power at each, uh, it, it is not a, it's not an efficient, it's not perfectly efficient, you lose about 30% with each um, gear ratio, not gear ratio, but each mating of the gears. Um, so the last thing we want to do is, let's do this last um, configuration which is going, now if you don't have the 84 teeth gears, these big mamas, what you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna just use these gears here, okay? Now, what am I gonna do? Um, let's take, let me get the screen out of here just for a sec. So what are the three or the four things that we use gears for? Number one, we can transmit power from one shaft to another. We can um, we can change the direction of the speed of a shaft. Using gears and their teeth, we can we can um, we can change the speeds of shafts. If we can change the speeds of shafts, then we'll, then we can change the torques. So I'm going to put this 84 teeth on the second shaft and bring this over. And then I'm going to take it off and I'm going to lock this down. I have to tell you, Scott did a lovely job on this rig. Um, it's perfect for what I want to try and do. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to design something as well as this. Um, now, so we have a small driving a large and check this out I'm gonna put a small on the same shaft as the large and once we do that we're going we have a compound system now what I'm gonna to have to do here though is you might have to get a little shaft color to raise this up and then I'll have another like so Just bear with me for a sec, I got seven minutes. I'm gonna to have to plug my computer in. All right. No worries. Okay. Now, so this is a compound gear train. We're going from 12 to 84, and then from 12 to 84. Two of them are on the same shaft. So let's have a look at this mats. What is this called? It's called a gump compound gear train um, let's see what's going to happen so we're going to do this in gear generator as well so we have a small drive in a large and then we have another small drive in a large like so we have three shafts we have shaft A, we have shaft B, which is sharing two gears, and we have shaft C. Now what speed does A go at? A, it's, really the up, it's really going in that direction, is what I should be drawing. Um, is really, this is, this is what's connected to the motor, okay? This is 12, this is 12, this is 84, and this is 84, like so. I know you can't even read that, it's tiny. Now, the speed of this is 95 
RPM. What is the speed of this shaft going to be? The out output shaft. In order to do this, you get the gear ratio between these two gears, the 12 and the 84, and the 12 and the 84, and you multiply them. Now this is, whenever, essentially we're going from a small gear to a large gear, even though it's a compound system. Now what happens? We know the speed should significantly decrease, but the torque is going to increase in the same ratio that the speed. If the speed decreases by a factor of 10, the torque is going to increase by a factor of 10. Okay, now, um, the gear ratio is going to be 12 over 84 multiplied by 12 over 84. Now, that's one, 12 goes into 84 six times, okay? Seven times, what the hell is wrong with me? All right, goes in seven times. Now, um, so that's one seventh multiplied by one seventh, which equals one over 49. One over 49. So the output speed is equal to the input speed multiplied by 1 over 49. The input speed is 95. So it's 95 divided by uh, 49, which is roughly 100 divided by 50. And I should be getting about 2 RPM on this. Let's just type it in. It's going to be 95 divided by 49 is 1.93 RPMs. Okay. So I'm going to stop this video and then we're going to move over to gear generator. And then we're going to test this out. And that's the last um, configuration. So what we'll do is let's go back to gear generator. And I'm going to remove this gear and I'm going to go from 12. The second the first one is going to have 12 teeth. The next gear is going to have 84. It's going to love this. Um, I wish we could make this smaller. I wonder if we made the pitch smaller. What happens if we make the pitch bigger? There we go. I'm using a pitch of 12 now and you can you can kind of see what's going on this I have 12 here going to 84 and 12 and then I need a new one and I'm going to change this connection angle I'm going to bring this up here something like that and I'm going to make this 84 as well and that's something if is there any way I could change the pitch angle of this one and bring that down it doesn't want to move um, can I move this? That's, I like that. And it doesn't want to, oh, that's fine. Look, this gear could be down here. Let's see if anyone can get it. No. Now, if I click on this one and I bring that up, oh, look at that. That's, there we go. That's what we want. And then I'll click on this gear. And bring that down and now we're that's a lot closer than that's kind of what we have I know it's flipped the other way around now um, what is what's going on here it's saying if we have 12 it's saying the RPM is going to be 0.12 and um, even though okay I need to bump this up to 95 and I'm getting 1.94 RPMs is what it's saying pretty slick isn't it Whoever made that program, I take my hat off to you. So, um, and that that's what's happening. Whenever you have two gears on the same shaft, it's a compound gear system. It's very, very powerful. You can have a, a big gear ratio in a small little package. Okay. Now, 
let's let's stop with this and let's move on to the real system so we should be getting something around 1.93 rpms all right now let's unplug this plug the old power supply in very slow it's it's too slow um what you it's so slow to even measure using a tachometer it's roughly two rotations a minute let's do this um i'm, I'm gonna let you do this yourself but what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a stop what stopwatch and you should get get one of these off once it gets once it goes to 12 o'clock it should go around twice in a minute and you should get two rpms um what we're going to do next week is we're going to build a winch and we're going to see how much weight we can lift with the winch so we're going to talk about torque a little bit more um but i want i want i need a video from all of you um and i just want to see the four scenarios just like i've done and i want to see your i want to see your um calculations that's it um that's it guys. I'll I'll see you I'll see you on Wednesday.